first of all, can I thank my dear sister and my elder, uh, my mentor to uh, Lillian Collins, and my older brother Abu Tai Chaudhry, and the Aspire Party for nominating me as one of your candidates. It is an honor and a privilege. Honor and a privilege. Inshallah, on the 5th of May, we will make history again and we will take back the mail deal which is rightfully ours. Inshallah. Inshallah. Last November 2020, a conspiracy started to remove the mail system. Remove the mail system. That's when the full council uh, decided that they would ask the people of this borough again whether they wanted the mail system or not. In, in the early months of 2021, the four big parties, <laughs> led by the current party who run the council, put together a coalition. The four main parties came together and they wanted to get rid of the mail system. It was me, Aspire, and the community who came together and we said no. We want to keep the mail system, we want to keep power to the people, let the people of this borough decide who should run the council. And what the hypocrisy, the double standard of the four main parties, they have no shame. The current mayor served twice as the mayor of this borough, he stood before the media, before the whole world, in the early months of 2021 and said that the mail system was a bad system. It was a dictatorial system. And he wanted to go back to the old, defunct leadership system. This man now wants to stand for the mail again. That's, that's hypocrisy. I always supported the mail system. Ken is someone I followed from day one. When he stood and won as an independent mayor of London. That was the catalyst inspiration for us to have the mail system throughout this country. And we fought hard. On the 6th of May, 63,000 people of this borough decided to keep power in their hands, decided to keep the mail system. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> the four main parties together could only master 17,000 votes. That was a call. On the 6th of May, the people of this borough decided that they want a change. They gave us another indication on the 12th of August, when the Aspar party won a councillor seat in Councillor Kobir Ahmed in Weavers by a huge majority over the Labour Party. Twice, the people of this borough said to us, and to the people of this uh, community that they want change and they want to get rid of the current incumbent mayor and his promise. Inshallah, <laughs> come next, next 5th of May, you are going to bring about change. We need to have a change, ladies and gentlemen. Last seven years, we have been inflicted a lot of pain. Thank you. Last seven years, the people of this borough have been inflicted a lot of pain. We are in agony. We have been punished by the current mayor because of his failings, his administration's failings. Let me give you a few examples. Under us, seven years, council tax was 5.2%. So we wanted to protect the people of this borough. We wanted to make sure that the living costs was low as possible. The current mayor has increased council tax to some 29%. It is disgraceful. We had our education service. My friend Alison, John Alison has said, was the envy of this country, was the envy of the world. We were the 10th best urban uh, education, uh, education system in the world. You know what? Our education system embarrasses us, uh, us now. Let me tell you why. Yes, we are doing reasonably well in GCSC. In A-level, we're not doing that well. When we were in power, 
you know, we were competing with the likes of Camden, Islington, Chelsea, and Kensington. Ladies and gentlemen, Newham was far behind us, but now Newham is ahead of us. Credit to them. One institution in Newham, NCS, last year sent 55 youngsters to Oxford and Cambridge. In Tower Hamlets, all the six of them together didn't even send that many kids to Oxford and Cambridge. That shows, that is an indictment on the current administration. We have fantastic teachers. We have fantastic parents. Our kids are hardworking, but you know what? They don't, most of them, the good ones, they don't go to the sixth form in Tower Hamlets, they go to Bancroft Manor. They go to NCS in Newham, because they believe they will get a far better life chances by going to the six homes in Newham than going to the six homes in Tarhamdas. We will need to change that. That's why we need to remove the current incumbent mayor on the 5th of May, inshallah. Housing, housing, housing. I took a lead from this great man, Ken Livingstone. His London plan, his plan for London, his plan for housing for London, it's fantastic, it's one of the best ever. Yeah. That's matter who the mayor is in, it's in London, they all in Tower Hamlets, they have to follow his guidelines. You know, he set a standard. If you're talking to developers, you should ask for minimum 4 to 5% social housing. That's what we did when we empowered. You know, the current incumbent mayor, they're happy with 11%, 12%, 13%. That's why, during our tenure, the five years that we were in power, we delivered just over 18,500 homes for rent. The current mayor, over the last seven years, do you have any clue how many homes for rent he has delivered? Just under 300. He's counting my delivery, he's counting our delivery as his delivery. But let me tell you the truth, they haven't bothered with the housing. We received from central government some 90 million pound because we delivered so many social homes. We were the biggest deliverer of social housing for two years in a row when we were in power. At this stage, we are nowhere near the top because that is the commitment of the current mayor. Education, free, home, free uh, school meals in primary school. We introduced that, unfortunately, and it's sad, and it's on record, the Labour regime opposition in Tower Hamlets, they opposed it in the full council. But because of the executive power that I had as a mayor, I was able to push it through. We delivered, we, we delivered educational mention sellouts. We were the only borough in the country, 400 pound per year for students studying A-levels. We were the only borough in the country we gave £1,500 to our students going to university. That was our commitment to our young people. It's been cut. They don't care about our young people. They don't care about our parents. We do. Youngsters are the future. Education is the future. Education opens the doors to opportunities. This gentleman, Dr. Asna Shah, was head of bilingualism. He led the Tower Hamlets Bilingualism Department, the many languages department for many years. And he's an expert when it comes to education. He can vouch for what we did when we were in power. We need to bring back educational mention salons. We need to bring back the help the, for the university students. We need to bring back the support that we gave to our youngsters in the youth service. When, when we were in power, from 2008, we used to invest some 10 million pound extra in the youth service. We had 48 youth centers. Ladies and gentlemen, that money has been cut to 2 million pound per year. The youth centers has been cut from 48 to 8. Our children don't have anywhere to go to. When, when, I, when I grew up, I grew up playing uh, sitting down on the stairwells. I grew up playing on the stage. I didn't have a youth club. But when, during our time when we were in power, we provided youth clubs across the borough. We supported 
our youngsters. Our youth service was the envy of London. Now our youth service is absolutely destroyed because the, this current man doesn't believe in our children, doesn't believe in their future. We do. Inshallah, if we win power back again on the 5th of May, we will invest in our future, we will invest in the future of our children. Inshallah. <laughs> we, have, we have such an elderly population. We have such an elderly population. Our borough is of two extremes. On the one hand, we have young population, young people. On the other hand, we have a borough of elders. The elders have contributed so much to Tower Hamlets. We owe so much to them. And it, it saddens me that after we left power, this man introduced charges to home care. We were the only borough in the country where we provided free home care. Because we believed we needed to look after our elders. They paid tax, they paid uh, in national insurance, they helped to rebuild this country after the devastation of the Second World War. And we have a duty to look after them. And it saddens me, there are households who are paying four or five hundred pounds a month to look after the elders. I know of some families, unfortunately, Afa, that the children, children do not want to get care for the parents or the, or the grand grandparents because they cannot afford to pay the four or five hundred pounds a month to care for the, for the grandparents, for the elders. That is wrong. Everyone deserves good care. The elders, the infirm, the disabled deserve good care in their old age, in their illness, when they, when they have need. Inshallah, if we come back to power again on the 5th of May, we are going to look after our elders. You know, when you see youngsters, young kids of 13, 14, yeah, working for a syndicate, peddling drugs, pushing drugs, their life has been destroyed, their families have been destroyed, and this current mayor and the current administration are doing hardly anything about it. Shame. If Allah wills, we come back again on the 5th of May, we will invest money in fighting crime, the causes of crime, and making sure the drug dealers fear us. We are not a friend of any drug dealers. It's going to go down in history as the most important date in the history of Tahamlets. You have a clear choice. The people of this borough have a clear choice whether they want to continue with the cuts in the destruction and the avoiding the need of the people or an administration who will invest in the community from the day one. An administration who will listen to the people, who will take on board what their concerns are, formulate their policies around the people of this borough, but ha and have genuine consultation. Whether you will have a choice, whether to vote for the incumbent administration who have closed the roads in the borough, or an administration who will open the roads. You will have a clear choice between an administration who will work for you, the people of this borough. What I will say to you, ladies and gentlemen, don't miss that opportunity. You must come out on the 5th of May. You must come out and vote to replace and remove the current administration with Aspire and with Lutfur Rahman, inshallah. We only have six weeks left to the 5th of May. Every single day is important. Every single hour is important. My request to you and the community of Tower Hamlets, please talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, talk to even strangers. Tell them what Tower Hamlets has been like for the last seven years. Tell them 
that there is a chance, there is a clear alternative between the current administration and look through Rahman and Aspire. Tell them that if they vote for Aspire, if they vote for look through Rahman, they will get investment in the community. That they will, there will be a party and a group of people who will listen to the community and who will deliver for the people of this borough, inshallah. Finally, finally, you may have seen, you may have heard, as soon as I put my name forward, the smears have started. Why do I fear me? I'm a human being like them. I'm not a monster, you know. I love this community. I grew up in this community. This community gave me so much. And I've come forward to give back to the community that has given to my parents, that has given to me, and that is given to my children. That's why I want to serve the people of this borough. The smear campaign will not win the election. You know what? I don't know if you remember. You know, just before the 2014 election, there was a program against me on BBC, Panorama. Remember Panorama? That I had given so much money to the Bangladeshi community of this uh, of tablets in grants. Panorama didn't. The intention was to remove me from power in 2014. Panorama didn't succeed. The, my vote in Tamlas, in fact, increased. What I say to my distractors, what I say to my opponents, let's have an equal playing field. Please, let's fight this election on policies, on ideas, on the vision for the future, not on history, not on the past, and not on character assassina assassination. When this man stood for the military of London, he took on the might of the Labour Party. Tony Blair was at his peak. He won. You know why? Despite, <laughs> despite the attempt to assassinate his characters, his vote increased across London. Similarly, inshallah, despite the attempts to assassinate my character, my votes will increase. You know why? The people of this borough know who I am. They know what I did for the people of this borough. They know I'm only here to serve them and to make sure that they have a better future than what's been offered to them now. Thank you, I'm grateful. Assalamu alaikum. He is going to make life better for people in this borough, but also set an example that other boroughs can be inspired to follow. The reason I'm supporting him is very simple, that I think he is the vision for... No, say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So the reason I'm supporting his candidacy is because he represents the aspiration of the younger generation of people, and I think that he's committed to delivering the changes, and I think it's really important. We have been constrained by the fact that we have not been able to rise above the discriminatory practices of this current administration. And I think it's really important that someone who understands that, someone who's going to stand up in office for our generation of children and our grandchildren, and I'm really delighted to hear about his commitments towards people with disability. We have not safeguarded the well-being of our children in this borough for the last five, seven years, and we have certainly not served the interests of those who are disabled and those who are infirm. So I'm hoping, and I'm taking his word, you know, that he will deliver that, and I believe that. That's why I'm standing here with him. Thank you. Yes, sure. You are the Baroness. You are the Labour Party member. You stay uh, directly support him. So if any problem from the Labour Party, you don't mind, as you, as you say on your speech. So I'm a member of the House of Lords, and uh, it's very important that I take my responsibility very seriously. I was appointed, yes, by Tony Blair for servicing in and in the interest of my community and women. And I have stayed true to every word of why the reason was for my appointment. And I believe today I'm standing here because I am interested in serving my community. So no, I don't fear Labour Party. I don't fear anyone. So yeah. Thank you. Uh, I don't hear any system. Just brief us that rebuild our future. Just brief. 
Because what do you mean that? Last seven years, there has been fantastic cuts in the borough. We have the current mayor and the administration have inflicted pain, punishment and suffering on the people of this borough. Give an example, council tax under me was 5.2% for seven years. It's now 29%. Youth services has been cut. Education services has been cut. Crime and safety services, police services has, has been cut. 5th of May is about the future of our borough, it's the future of our children. It's an opportunity to rebuild our borough. We will invest in the community, we will invest in the vital services, we will make sure our people are looked after. That is what we mean by rebuilding our borough, rebuilding our future.